So you want to set up a blog or website on Wix? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it really is. Okay, so now it's time to create your website or blog and today we're using Wix. Now, I've used WordPress for a long time, but I've recently discovered Wix and how easy it is to start a new website. So let's start here and later in this series, I'll cover off Squarespace and also WordPress. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you wanna to go to a Wix. Now I'll put my referral link down below and if you choose to click it, that'll help me to make more of these videos, but it's totally up to you. Anyway, let's go ahead and sign in. Now, if you're new to Wix, uh, you want to click on sign up. Then you want to go ahead and choose whether you're going to sign up with email or via your Facebook or Google account. Now, I suggest email is probably easier because sometimes when you link your account, it gets a little bit more complicated. So maybe just use an email address to get started. So let's go ahead and hit sign up. All right, so this is uh, the experience tutorial. So they want to make sure that you're going to get started the right way. Now it's going to ask a few questions like, oh, what should this type of site be? I want to create a site for myself. And what sort of site should it be? Well, today we're just going to do a blog, but there's many different types of sites you can do with Wix. And you can say whether you actually built sites professionally or never done it at all. I'll just say build a few websites. Now, a Wix has this ability to create a website for you based on a few simple questions that you answer. And it uses some artificial intelligence. But at the end, uh, you're probably just going to come back to using a template anyway. So we're going to go ahead and just choose a template. All right, so in here, this is a more traditional way to start a website. And because it's a template, you'll get to see exactly what you're going to get before you click the button. So right now we can see that there's various different categories. Now there's business and online store, photography, video, music, design, restaurants and food, travel and tourism, and we've gone with blogs and forums. Now off that there's some subcategories as well. So I might just choose a, a lifestyle blog and that's going to filter the templates to be a little bit more a lifestyle like. So for instance, one here is a lifestyle mum blog. Uh, it looks like they do a little bit of craft. So we might go ahead and view that template. Now it'll open up in a new tab so you can have a really close look. So let's just click that off there and we can see if we actually like this format. So basically we've got a header picture here and then it breaks down into a few different categories. And also and then we've got a little bit more information about ourselves. And then we've got the blog groups. So if this is the type of template you like, then you want to go ahead and click edit this site. And if you didn't, well, you can always just go back to the other tab and choose another template. But we'll go ahead and we'll just use this one for today. So I'm just going to click on edit this site and it's just going to prepare the site in the background. So remembering Wix handles all the hosting for you. So now it's just a case of point and click. So this is what we have to start with. So let's quickly run through a few of the features. Now, if we just go over the top here, we can see that we can select a page. And if we just click on that list, we can go ahead and edit any of the pages we have. So that's an easy way to switch between the pages. Now, another little feature of Wix is being able to see what it looks like on mobile. So we just go and click this little icon here and we instantly see what it's going to look like on a mobile screen. So if we just scroll down, uh, this is what exactly it would look like. And as we can see here, we have part of our blog a little bit later on here. So if that's what you like, well, that's great. But you can edit it specifically for mobile or for desktop. So you need to work out what your target audience is. And that way you can make sure they have the best user experience. All right, so let's just quickly go through the rest of this menu here. Uh, we've got a couple of options here, so it's just save. Now, there's a save option over here too. I suggest that as you're going along and changing parts of your website or blog, you want to go ahead and hit save fairly frequently just to make sure you don't lose any changes. And over here we can see preview, and there's also a preview over on this far side too. So that'll just tell you what your blog will look like from the outside world. So this is what it would look like right now. We can also do things like this little arrow in the corner here, which enables people to just go back to the top instantly. 
but this is all configurable. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to the editor here. All right, so there's probably not much else you need to know here. Publish, but again, there's a button on the site for that. So we're not gonna worry about any of this other stuff here. Uh, under settings, uh, we can connect a domain. So typically when you create a free Wix website, you'll just use their domain for your website. Now that doesn't look very professional and in the future you might want to connect your own unique domain name to your blog or website and this is where you would do that. Now you can also get a mailbox account and that can be done through Wix or you could do it directly through a company like Google which enable you to set up a business mail account. And of course we can upgrade to a premium plan but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now we won't cover a lot of these things today, they'll probably be in other videos, but let's go ahead and continue along. So if we have a look at tools, we can see we've got the toolbar, which is this on the side here, and that's just going to help us to move things around and have quick access to the edit functions. We can also add rulers, which are quite handy for this site. As we can see here, that's a normal page size, and uh, maybe we want to set up the ruler so it's in the middle of a page. So let's go and set that up now. I think we can see that that's going to be set up to, it's probably going to be 980. So we want to go half of 980 and that's going to be 490. Okay, so we'll just leave that on like that. And the good thing about that is it actually is a snap to lock. So it's going to help us to find the middle of the page. And that's important when you're setting things out. So these lines here help us to guide ourselves to make sure that we actually understand what the middle of the pages are and not to go over because if we go over then potentially it might get cut off when people are viewing it say on a desktop. So that's the main features up here. The dev mode, well we're not going to go into the technical details but you can do coding within Wix and if you get stuck with Wix you can always go to the help tab and set up a help center call and that way they can call you back directly or you can use their online help to actually solve any problems. And again, we can talk about the upgrading of the site a little bit later. So this is our basic site for now. Now, because Wix is a drag and drop, it literally is a case of just clicking on an element and making a change. So we just add a few more letters into that and we're done. Now, don't forget, make sure when you are making changes to actually hit the save button. Now, because this is our first time, this is what the website will look like. Tutorials 1017.wixsite.com and then my site. A lovely little things because that's the name of our mock website. So we'll go ahead and just hit save and continue. Okay, so our site has been saved and now we could hit publish now if we were happy with the site. And from there, we can actually just view the site. So as you see there, the domain is tutorials1017 and tutorials101 has been derived from my email address and wixsite.com, lovely little things. And that is ready and live on the internet right now. Now, the thing you'll notice with a free website from Wix is that they will have an ad at the top of the page. And it's totally fine for a private blog, but if you want a more professional look, you will have to upgrade to a premium product. So let's go back to the website editor now, and we'll just make a few more changes to this site. So if you didn't like this picture, all we have to do is click on the picture and change the strip background. Now this will bring up some options. Uh, we can change to different images. And there's a couple of options here. We can upload our own images to the site or we can use copyright free images from Wix. So let's just say that we wanted a little bit more of a crafty blog. So let's just type in craft here and maybe we'll find a better picture. So let's go with this storage containers one because that looks quite good. So we'll just hit change background and now we can see a lovely little things and now we actually have some craft here. So we can go ahead and make a change again or we can just hit close and that saves our work. Now, as you see here, auto save is on, but if you wanted to hit save after making a major change, that's a good idea. And it will always remind you about publishing. So we're just gonna turn that off again because we don't wanna publish it just yet. So now our blog is starting to take shape and I haven't needed any skills at all. And that's the power about Wix. 
we can basically just scroll down here now and we can see these little tabs in here. And because this is a template, we want to change this to a call to action. So we're going to type in learn more and we could just leave it like that. Now, if we go and have a look at our main website, we find that this is actually a link to the lifestyle page. Then it takes us to our blog category called a lifestyle. Now, I just prefer having a call to actions in here that make a little bit more sense to the reader. So you could go ahead and play with that. Now, these boxes are also, these are actually just shapes. So if you wanted to change the style a little bit like that, it's just a case of moving the edges. So now the format has been changed a little bit. And really, it's all finicky stuff, and it depends on what you like. So again, now we've got three categories here, the lifestyle, family, and food, and this will take the reader to different parts of the website. And then we can go ahead and learn a little bit more about the author. So this is just a template, and we can change the image, obviously, by just clicking on Change Image, or we can go ahead and change some of the text as well. Now, as you see here, there's an email info at my website. If we actually click on edit on that, we'll see that that's actually a hyperlink. That should take somebody to their email page so they can email you directly. So it's starting to look quite good. So this is the start of our blog. Now, if you see there's something that's wrong with this blog, well, it's quite easily just to click on it and do a manage posts. So now we can just go and edit the actual post and then fix it up. We'll just change that to a new garden. So fresh from our new garden. And we can go through here and check to see if there's any other changes that need to be made. So if we wanted to add, please sign up to our mailing list, we just type that in. And if we needed to add another image, it's just a case of getting a new line, clicking add image, and then uploading some media. So we might just do envelope and we'll just add that to our page. And if we wanted to turn that picture into a link, we would just go ahead and enter a URL just there. So that's one way to get people to sign up to your mailing list. We can talk about mailing lists in another video. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and publish those changes. Now, because this is a template, you obviously wanna go ahead and remove these posts because they aren't gonna be relevant to your website. So it's just a case of clicking on these three dots and then clicking on delete post. Now this brings up another topic here. So normally when you have a blog, you wanna engage the readers with commenting, but sometimes you wanna turn that off. So it's just a case of coming into your dashboard here and clicking on here and turn off commenting. And as you can see now, uh, the, there's a no comment sign and that is instantly updated onto the website. Now, the other thing we can do from the dashboard is to create a new post. So this is where you would create a new post. You add your catchy title and start writing. And you can add images, a gallery, or even a video. And of course, dividers are always helpful. So once you're done there, you would hit publish and it would be your new post on your blog. But how did we get to the dashboard? Well, it's as easy as going down the menu down here on the left-hand side and to the one that's a fountain pen that says, my blog. Then you can quickly create a post or you can go to manage post and that'll take you to your dashboard. So that's as easy as it is to create a Wix blog and you could literally get up and running within a few hours. Now you can go ahead and click on any images you see and then update them with something that's more relevant to you. Now, you can actually set up a mailing list within Wix as well. Now, I'll cover this in another video. I just wanted to get you started today and give you a quick look on how easy it is to use Wix. And everything is changeable. So, for instance, if you want to have take the proudly created by Wix away, well, that's just as easy as just clicking on that and we're done. Now, you can also add your social media links as well. So if you've got social media, then we can basically associate these icons with different links. So we go and click a link here, and then we click on the link across here. And in this case, we put in our unique Instagram URL, just so it goes to our page. So I think that's enough for today. And hopefully you've got an idea on the power of Wix. We're gonna go into more detail about creating things on Wix in future videos. 
So that's the website complete, and as you see, using Wix is really easy for beginner bloggers. And even though this is a free blog, it's all managed by Wix. Now in future videos we're going to cover some more detail, so let me know in the comments below if there's anything specifically you want me to look at, and I'll be sure to cover them in future videos. So go ahead and get started with your Wix website today. And as I mentioned, I'll put my referral link down below. So feel free to use that and support this channel. Anyway guys, until next time, it's bye for now.